All right. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Joanna Craney. I am the co-founder of Empowered Financial Strategies. I'm a financial advisor and special needs planner. And I'm really excited to have with us here today, Danielle Scott Griffith, who is the executive director of the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. I was recently introduced to Danielle and she was telling me more about how the Kelly and Dolan Memorial Fund serves our community um, with, with assistance, advocacy, education, and financially for these families who, um, you know, they spend a lot of time and energy as a caretaker for these children who are critically ill um, or have um, disabilities or injuries. So the Kellyanne Memorial, um, Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund is really there to lighten the burdens and lift the spirits of these families who are caring for these children. And, um, you know, what I think families um, see or um, I should say what these families are dealing with is that, you know, there's a lot of expenses that are not covered by insurance and or even respite. Um, that they don't even have the time to have time for self-care. So uh, this is a great organization. I wanted to bring uh, this organization to, to you today so that you can get more information. So welcome, Danielle. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank I really you for appreciate, having me. Yeah, I really appreciate you taking the time. And so Danielle, can you just tell us like, you know, how did the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund come to be? So 46 years ago, um, a family suffered a loss of a little girl, Kellyanne. Peggy and Joe started the fund in her honor. She had a rare form of cancer. Um, and they saw firsthand what it was like to care for a sick child. You know, there was no, um, Peggy calls it the great equalizer. So, you know, people would come into town, they would, you know, not have anywhere to stay, they wouldn't be able to pay their bills, their families were in two separate places, because you know, some are at the hospital with the kid and some are at, the ho are, are at home. And they formed this fund to help families with um, costs that aren't covered by insurance. So we do basic needs, rent, shelter, um, electricity, utilities, car payments, car insurance, Wow. We do, um, in the pandemic, we really pivoted to like sensory toys for when all the kids um, were taken out of school and out of their environments. Um, we did a lot of sensory toys. So it was, you know, born out of, you know, insurmountable grief um, came something beautiful wow. to help these families, uh, you know, be able to make it through such a trying time. Yeah. Wow. Collateral beauty, that's what I call it. It's 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 truly remarkable. Um, so how would you say the Kelly and Dillon Fund serves families and, and really how are they unique in this space? So we are not disease specific. We are the only nonprofit that I know of that is not disease specific. So you can unfortunately have a diagnosis of cancer, you can have a genetic disorder, you can a, a brain injury, anything. We okay. if you have a child who is diagnosed with an injury, illness, or disability, and you're having financial issues, we will help you. We wow. have multiple programs. So we have our financial assistance program, uh -huh. which is that we pay a household bill once a year. Okay. For a we also have our holiday program, which is going on right now, um, where we we match families with sponsors and we give them gift cards. We actually pivoted from gifts during the pandemic as well to gift cards because our families really needed some control and some, you know, they felt empowered that they were actually able to go and buy their own stuff. Um, we do a Thanksgiving drive. We did 25 families this year where they got um, turkey dinners. We also do family fun days um, to give a little respite for the families. And we also have a resource program and education. I am the mom of a special needs child and a social worker uh, by trade. So I'm able to, I went through the process of SSI and insurance and getting diapers and formula and the waiver programs. So I'm able to assist families on a personal level of how to get through mountains of paperwork that are very overwhelming and a lot of big words <laughs> that are scary. Um, so we do those programs also for families. 
Wow, that's just incredible. And it just made me like visualize like the importance of advocacy, the importance of literally just standing by somebody who's going through something like really, really trying and knowing that you have somebody there to, that's supporting you along the way, whether it's financially, emotionally, um, you know, like you had said, respite. Um, it's so important to have someone like the Kelly and Dolan Fund in your corner for these families because uh, they're they're going through a lot of trying times. I mean, think about like the, the time right now, people, it's the holiday season, but they're so consumed taking care of their loved one in or out of the hospital, right? So I just acknowledge, I acknowledge you and this organization for the work that you're doing. Well, we also do um, support groups. So we um, have implemented virtual support groups, which is a safe space for caregivers to um, be able to join, not have their video on, be with other uh, families who are going through this uh -huh. and be able to share, which is hard. You know, it's, it's hard to share. And I found with my journey with my daughter that the best resources are other parents, what they've tried, what they've done, you know, they're the, the best support. They um, they give you permission to take a break. <laughs> yes. So important. Yes, so important. So we did bring back our, we did, we um, also do virtual support groups. I should have said that. That's great. So that, yeah, that's that's really key. Um, you know, for, for all our listeners, I just want to let you know, like, you're not alone here. You are not alone. There are people out there that are going through, might not be the same thing, but a lot of us share in a lot of the difficult things that we're going through. So you do have support. Um, um, I'm, cu I'm curious, where is the Kelly and Dol Dolan Fund going? And you know, what are their next steps? So in the immediate, um, Thursday night we have, <laughs> an event I'd like to invite everybody to cocktails for a cause it's an ambler at the Mahoney event center it's um vendors are be selling their stuff for Christmas it, the tickets are $25 you get a drink and some appetizers and then you can stroll through the little market that we'll have set up um so that is next for us you know we are kind of reimagining after you know coming into our new world of post-pandemic um, all of our programs and our family fun days, we plan to bring back our in-person events. We are going to do our golf event in May okay. and we have our big fundraiser taste in March. Um, what else are we doing? Holiday. We're going to have all of our gifts to our families. That's great. So that's where we're going. That's where we're headed. We're excited. We're excited to, you know, really get back with people in person and yeah. bringing back our family fun day so we can see our families. I've been here for 12 years. So a lot of the families I know from the family fun days and I miss them. Yeah, I think um, the in-person definitely, uh, I, and I maybe this is just personal, but I, I feel like a lot of people share in this. It just brings energy. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a great feeling just being with people. I mean, virtual has definitely served its purpose, but getting back together again, connecting with people really can fill your cup yeah. um, when you're feeling isolated. Yeah. Well, so. and a lot of our families, right, with the shortage in nursing, they haven't gone back to normal because their kids can't go to school because they don't have a nurse with them. So they're still isolated, they're still home, they're still, you know, and now there's not even an option to go on virtual school. So at least there was some connection there with, you know, what's happening in the world with um, nursing shortages. They still are, you know, just home, which is terrible. Terrible, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. My daughter's class is supposed to be seven kids, there's two. Oh, wow, wow, mm -hmm. yeah. It's sad. It's sad. It's really, really sad. And and um, even more so now than ever, we need organizations like this um, where we can feel like, you know, people, you're not alone. You don't have to be isolated. You can find um, support here. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm just curious, like, what does the Kellyanne Dolan Fund need right now that can help continue to support these families that are in need? Yeah, I mean, we'd love to build new partnerships, but, you know, we do serve families 
Um, our criteria is you have to reside in or get your treatment in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, or Delaware. So, you know, we do make a big impact on obviously living in Philadelphia. We have amazing hospitals here as, as well as New York, right? Oh, New Jersey. Um, so, you know, we'd love to build new partnerships and move in more into those states. You know, we focused on what was immediate in the pandemic, like most places did, right? Keeping everything going. We like to branch out into Delaware and New Jersey. We like to build new partnerships. We need support. We need come to our events, you know, watch us, listen to us, hear us, hear our families. We just yeah. need to support the community and state support. That's okay. So like, I'm just going to make a little plug here, guys. <laughs> so if you are charitably inclined, now is the best time, the end of the year, you need some tax write-offs. Like here, here guys, like here's an organization that is impacting families in such a huge way. Yes. So, um, if there's somebody out there, whether they're interested in um, contributing or if there's a family in need, what is the best way for them to reach out? They can call, email. <laughs> um, they can go right onto our website and make a donation, dolanfund.org. Okay. Um, they can email us directly. We're all on the website. Um, and I'm what email should they use to um, to send an email? What's the best email? Directly at dgriffith at dolanfund.org. They can come right Okay. To All right, fantastic. And is there a phone number that we can highlight? Yeah, 215-643-0763. You know, another thing about um, our organization is that we are really here for people personally. Like you will get us on the phone. You will get me on the phone or Linda on the phone or Kara on the phone and we listen and we're here. Thank you. That's so, that's so, yeah. Instead of like calling an 800 number, you don't know. Yeah. So that's such a personal touch. Mm -hmm. um, Danielle, I just want to thank you for being with us here today. Um, I think it's really, really important for families to know that they're not alone. If they need support, if they need assistance, here's a great organization that can be there. And again, the, the Kellyanne Dolan Fund does need um, donors. So um, if you want to make a profound impact in the lives of many, here's an organization that can that can do that. So um, again, thank you for being here. I am Joanna Craney of Empowered Financial Strategies. I appreciate you all being with us here today and make sure that you catch our replays on empowered-fs.com, our blog section. We have great articles and great video content of a lot of different organizations that are serving the disability community. And we're really grateful for them being here. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and happy holidays. Thank you so much. Happy holidays.